In this video, I will be going over the new Turntable Plus options found in ZBrush. So I have loaded my demo head, and in my movie palette, which I'm going to put over to my right shelf here, we have our Turntable Plus options that have a start, a mid, and a stop point. We also have a render movie and a save and load. So using my demo head, I'm going to evaluate my start point. So we're going to scale him down and put him in the top left corner, which will be my start point. My midpoint will be the middle of the canvas, and my end point will be bottom right with a scale. I have now told ZBrush for the turntable, start in the top left, finish in the top right, and do a scaling from left to right. So when I click on my render movie, options pop up. I have my layer intensity, HD geometry, an image sequence, an alpha sequence, and a depth sequence, along with disable movie recording. So my layer intensity will now allow me to render out a turntable showing 0 to 1 intensity of only the selected layer. You can also render out a turntable of your HD geometry as well. We also can now render out an image sequence, an alpha sequence, and depth sequence of your turntable and save those in either a TIFF, PSD, or a bitmap format. If I click on disable movie recording, we will not have the capability to play the movie or export the movie. When I click on OK, I'm going to get a pop-up box that is asking me where would I like to save my image files. So you notice it is pre-labeled image with four zeros. I'm going to change my last zero to one so that when we are rendering out our image sequence, we'll be going starting with image 001 and the next image will be 002, 003, and etc. I'm also going to create a new folder and call this images. And now I can save these images within that folder. Now it's going to ask me, well, where would you like to save your alphas? So again, I'm going to make a new folder. Call this alphas. Change my numbering to 001. Click Save. Now we'd like to save my depth. Again, create a new folder. change my numbering to 001, click Save. Now ZBrush will render through the turntable and create my images, my alphas, and my depth images, as well as create the movie for playback and exporting. So now that my movie is done, I can now open my files from the pre-made folders, and I'll have my images, my depth and my alphas and as you notice it starts at 001 and they go in current order of your numbers. Turntable Plus now gives you the capability to render out a layer on your tool. So I have a layer intensity here set to 1. As you see, I put an extreme smile on my demo head. So what I'm going to do is tell ZBrush with the selected layer, set my spin cycle to 0 for the purpose of this demo so that the head does not turn. My start point will be this, and I also would like to make this my stop point. Now by clicking on Render Movie, I would like to turn on my layer intensity. Now remember, this will only render out the selected layer. If you have multiple layers, it will not render out every layer, only the selected. And your intensity will start at zero at the beginning of your movie, and at the end, the layer intensity will be set to 1. So 
when I click OK, you will see now ZBrush create this turntable movie that has it cycling through the layer at the start point being zero intensity and at the end point being a one intensity. So I have an exported movie of this smile showing this turntable cycling through the intensity of my layer. That is the new option found within Turntable Plus for layer intensity.